In today's video, we're gonna see if the shower in the Storyteller Overland lives up to all the hype. Let's go. What is going on YouTube? Greetings from very, very windy Valley of Fire, Nevada. I've got a really awesome campsite here on BLM. It's free. I'm on a peninsula and I'm surrounded by drop-offs. That drop-off's probably like a thousand feet. And then the one over here is probably uh, more like a hundred feet. It's pretty awesome. But in today's video, we're gonna we're gonna test out the shower uh, in this storyteller and see if it lives up to all the hype and maybe answer some of your questions about it. But first I gotta get, you know, nice and sweaty. So <laughs> I need a shower. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go on a quick hike. Look at this. It's so amazing down here. It looks like Tatooine from Star Wars or something. Uh, it's pretty cool. But if you see here at the end of the peninsula here, there's a little hiking trail. So we're gonna, we're gonna take that hiking trail, explore really quick, and then we will come back um, to the rig and we'll take a shower. So let's go on that hike real quick. All right, I think that's enough. Let's uh, head back to the rig and get a shower. All right, so welcome to my bathroom. It got super, super windy all of a sudden. So I had to actually mic up for this part of the video. So hopefully you don't get too much wind noise and the camera isn't moving so much. I mean, it's so windy on this ridge right now that it's kind of moving my van back and forth. So that's one of the potential disadvantages of being on a ridge like this in a high roof van like this Mercedes Sprinter. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is the bathroom area in this Sprinter. It's really not that much different than bathrooms in other Sprinters like the Revel. The only difference is I don't have walls up here. My toilet can go down inside of the shower pan, but I usually keep the cassette toilet here because obviously it's at a good height for me to use the restroom. But of course, I'm gonna move this out of the way here real quick. I'll probably move it up here up front. I know that seems kind of gross. It's just a big pee bottle, but every black tank is just a big pee bottle that you're gonna to have to handle and empty anyway. So it's really no different to be honest with you. All right. so. I actually have to move these two, I believe. They got this nice little towel rack here, but you can't really keep it down when you open this. This is my first time actually using the shower. So you're gonna be learning right along with me here. I think, yeah, these get unscrewed here. And, oh, that's pretty cool. I never noticed that before. There's like a little mirror here. This is really cool that it has this. And it looks like you could put like your shampoo and stuff in here uh, if you wanted to or your soap. Uh, that's pretty cool. First things first, let me open this uh, shower pan here real quick. All right. So shower pans open. Easy peasy. I mean, it's easy stuff here. All right, so we're gonna unstrap the strap, put this shower curtain down. Yeah, it feels like military type of grade type stuff and it's weighted. These are really, these weigh a lot, these little things right here. Um, and they're also magnets, which is actually really cool. So the door kind of shuts like those roll F screens you saw in my Travato, they just shut. Uh, it's really cool. So this is obviously the shower head. So let's take out this thing called a halo. I don't know if this is gonna be easy or hard. I've never done it before. Oh, actually it's pretty easy. Oh, we're already done. Okay, so I've already preheated the hot water. It doesn't take any time at all. It uses diesel fuel to heat it. So that's pretty cool. I don't have to have any propane or anything like that or waste electricity. I'm gonna try 
I'm gonna try it out real quick. I'm gonna turn it on. Whoa. Okay. All right, it's not coming out yet. I don't know if I have to turn on some kind of pump. It's coming out, but oh, you know what? <laughs> I've got it locked. Okay, so that's kind of concerning. It's, it leaks a little bit. Oh, well, the, now that I got it all the way shut, it only leaks a little, but it's not like, it doesn't completely stop it from flowing. So that kind of sucks actually. Um, but it does go full on shower mode here. Whoa, that's really hot. All right, I'm gonna have to adjust the water before I get in. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna obviously take off my clothes. I'm not gonna film that. And I'm gonna jump in the shower and tell you how it is. Okay, so it's really windy right now and I'm not mic'd up, so hopefully this doesn't sound too bad. But first thing I notice is there's no place to put the soap. So I'm gonna put it out here on the little countertop here and then I'll just have to reach for it. I showed the little turn off on the shower head valve, but it's actually better to just use the water on and off so it doesn't free flow on you. So here, yeah, I'm gonna turn it on right now. It's nice and warm, almost perfect temperature. So I'm gonna jump in here and and shower up a little bit. If you're enjoying this video, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below telling me where you're watching from. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Okay, I was in the Navy for 20 years and I'm taking a Navy shower. I just got myself wet and now I'm gonna take this soap, lather myself all up, then I'm gonna jump back under the water, I'm gonna turn it back on. And the reason I'm doing that for, for probably obvious to most of you is to save water. This thing only has a 24 gallon tank, which is pretty big for a van, but still not a ton of water. So let me jump in here and ladder up. All right, I figured out a spot to put my rag when I'm not, you know, scrubbing myself with it. So I'm all lathered up. So now I'm just gonna rinse myself off, enjoy a little bit of the hot water for maybe 20 or 30 seconds, after that, because I love long showers, I'm just gonna try to grab a little bit of how that feels to have a long, hot shower. All right, so shower successful. Only took a couple of minutes. This is my first time ever using this. So I'm sure I will get much more efficient uh, doing this, but it feels great to be able to shower in my rig. It was actually very, very pleasant. I was amazed how the hot water just shows up. I didn't have to wait for it to get hot. It just was hot when I turned on the hot water. So that's pretty awesome. I really like that. I think I'm uh, gonna dry off here real quick. Okay, for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna wait for it to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it up and show you how easy it is to store this thing. Obviously, when I'm done with this video, I'll take the shower curtain back out, let it completely dry, but I just wanna show you um, kind of how simple this is. So you just wanna push it in from the sides here and obviously grab it down by the bottom. It's actually surprising how dry this thing actually is already. And you're gonna roll it up. You got these magnets here, so it's gonna be thicker in the middle. And now we wanna kinda of get this up in here. You can see the faucet is still dripping a little bit here. So that's something I'd probably want to wait for. I probably want to wait, leave it hanging there till it completely drips out. But for the sake of the video, I want to show you this thing all rolled up. All right, so it's just Velcro straps here. All right, so the shower's put up. Put up this little area right here too. You just kind of screw these in. It's a nice little design. They're actually really easy to screw in. And shower's done. Bring the shower pan down and toilet back in the toilet spot. And now it's ready for me to use <laughs> whenever I need to use the bathroom again. Um, and we can 
hang up our towel to dry. Man, it is so windy in here. I don't know if you can hear that. So windy. But there we go. Okay, so now let's talk about the shower experience. So in one word, fantastic. That is the first time I've ever used this shower. And while I had a couple little hiccups, you saw how easy it was to set up, break down, to shower inside of there. It was a great experience. It's exactly what I had hoped it would be. It's just so nice to be able to come back from a long hike, all sweaty, and be able to set up the shower, take a shower for a minute, and then put the shower back up in a minute. It's super, super, super convenient, which is, like I mentioned, exactly what I was looking for. It was an amazing shower experience, and it's probably my number one favorite thing about this rig now. Maybe in a close, maybe, closely followed by the rooftop deck, which I also love. Okay, so tell me what you think about this shower setup. Would it work for you? Would you like it or would you hate it? Do you want a built-in shower, more like the Revel or the Travado, or could you make this work like I have? Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you like travel, van life, adventure type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out a video at least once a week and I usually do a live stream once a week as well. Thanks again for watching. See you next week.